Man of the moment, Shane Foley, he's just won the Judmont's Irish Oaks on Magical Lagoon. Shane, congratulations. Just how tough a performance was that? Yeah, uh, guys, she's very straightforward, loves her work, loves the battle. Um, she jumped, I got a nice position, dictated the race a bit and had to make my own way home from the two because Billy stopped a bit quicker than ideal, but Ryan was obviously waiting to deliver his challenge, but as soon as he did my one, stuck her neck out, she loves the battle. I'm sure you guys had run things through tactically how the race might pan out before, and did it go roughly along those sort of lines? I wanted to sit maybe second and try and control the race, but I thought Colin would be in front, to be honest. Um, his one must have fluffed to start a little bit, but um, no, look, I had committed for my draw on eight to go forward and get a position. I thought there was a few that would take their time and hunt away, so look, it, did, it worked out well. Everything obviously changed when Emily Upshaw came out of the race. Did your eyes immediately light up and it dawned on you that they, you were now the one they all attacked? It looked a two-hour race beforehand. It's never such a thing in Ireland, really, but um, I suppose when a lot of people's kind of took the complexion off the race, but I wasn't one that was given out when I seen her come out. That Royal Ascot breakthrough was big for you, I know, and what does this mean now to Landage of Mandara? A massive dialogue, I just said it there, it's, it's what we get up for every morning, our ambition is just to ride good horses and good races, that's what we want, um, and you're, you're working hard to find the good one all the time, and hopefully we have found one and we we'll to look for another one. What about the future for this filly now? Could you see her maybe taking on the Colts at some stage? Maybe so, look, um, I think Ascot will, at Champions Weekend, the fillies and but I think that'll be soft, normally soft ground, so maybe she might have won more run, maybe she might go to York, I don't know, I'll leave that up to Jessie, but um, she could have won, and if she was staying in training next year, it'd be massive, you know, that she probably could have won more run with the mile and a half campaign next year. Well, so look Show forward to it, but in the meantime, the enjoy this moment. It's a special one. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks, Gareth. Thank you. Rear division with half a mile to go. It shows stars tracked closely by Magical Lagoon, the dark green and white jacket. On the outside is Toy with running the rail, Cord the Good Joe. Emily Dickinson next with Fenella and nudged along. Last of the seven as they hit the straight is history. Show of stars with coming there strongly, one off the rail, Magical Lagoon. After them is Toy, Cardigo Joe right in behind them. Emily Dixon brought to the outside that history and Fenella for and a half to go. Magical Lagoon just strikes the front. On either side, Toy and Cardigo Joe, there's not much between the three. Inside the final furlong on the John Mondari Shokes. It is Magical Lagoon, Toy on the near side. It is making the Philly fight every step of the way. It's Magical Lagoon, Toy on the near side. They're going towards the line. Magical Lagoon has won it! As Shane Foley salutes the colour crowd, fending off Toy, and they're followed in by Cordy.